JJJ, you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com, your boy is back and out and did it again. Guys, listen, one of the biggest problems that boot camps have in a lot of schools and, and not only the schools, but also too, like different places, like, you know, you got Pluralsight, you got uh, Teen Treehouse, ColdSchool.com. One of the biggest problems that they have is the fact that they always behind. This industry changes constantly. So it's like, once you think you you, you learn something, it's like, eh, buddy, it's time to learn something else. So this happens all the time, guys. So this is one of those things where, I don't know, I mean, what's the answer to this, right? What would be the answer to say, in, you know, the solution? for something like this, right? Do they just keep on reinventing the curriculum every six months or what exactly do they do? You know what I mean? Like, how can they solve that problem? Because even, you know, I, I was watching this guy, what's his name? Um, Something Engineer Truth or something like that. Uh, when he was going to Deaf Boot Camp, right? And from what I saw, I think he won in 2016, right? last year. He went to the boot camp, or maybe it was this year. I don't remember. I don't know. I know it was between last year to this year. He went to Dev Boot Camp. They they basically gave him a free access to the boot camp, this and that. And I said, cool, let me see what he got. Let me see what, what exactly they teach him out there. And from what I saw, it was like Angular 1. And I'm like, wait, what? What? Angular 1 in 2016? Uh, they're like two years late. You know what I mean? Like, why would you be teaching Angular 1 in 2016? You know what I mean? Like, Angular 2 came out. React was out. Like, why would somebody be paying... Ten, twenty thousand dollars for a boot camp to learn something that's outdated. By the time they come out, they're not even prepared. You know what I mean? Like they gave you some, I guess, some experience to the back end with like Node.js or something like that. But guys, that's not that's not up to date. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> they're like so behind. In every boot camp that's out there, that's one of the main reasons why they're closing down. People are kind of starting to notice that. They're like, wait, you guys are teaching me Ruby on Rails, but in jobs, they want senior developers for Ruby on Rails. That don't make no sense. You know what I mean? Like, you guys are teaching Ruby on Rails, but Ruby on Rails in reality is on a decline. It's going down. There's less and less new companies starting their, their stacks with Ruby on Rails. So why would you be still be teaching that? You should be teaching something else, something more modern or something more practical. Even a C-sharp boot camp is better than a Ruby on Rails boot camp. Why? Because C-sharp, you're never going to go wrong. Like There's always going to be a job for a .NET a developer out there always because most of these companies they they trust microsoft even though microsoft might not be the best in, in, in the world but people think like oh microsoft been around for 20 you know 20 30 years like of course we're gonna go with microsoft right so there's always gonna be developers for that and there's always gonna be jobs for it so that's like a major disadvantage that boot camps have man like they're always behind and you know team treehouse is the same thing man like trust me i tried every service out there and I, i'm like man why are they still talking about you know like when angular came out they wasn't even talking about angular they were talking about backbone i'm like wait what and then when react came out they was just basically they just took out uh, a video for angular a course for angular i was like wait what 
And when no JS, <laughs> this is funny. When no JS already had like four years out, they had just started doing one video, not even a course. It was more like a a walkthrough of what Express is. And I was like, yo, I need to get the hell out of here. I can't because I know this this new stuff coming out and. Every time I go to an interview, they ask me about stuff that in Team Treehouse they don't have. They haven't even started talking about it. Sometimes they do a blog before they even do a course on it. Like, who cares if you do a blog? Do the freaking videos. That's why I'm freaking paying you, you know, $25 a month. I mean, luckily, I was still going to college at that time. So I have my, my student discount, which is something that's good about Team Treehouse. If you go to college, you could get a, a student discount, which is great. But at the same time, man, like, come on, man. Step your game up. <laughs> like, that's one of those things that, that pisses me off, man, because you pay for a premium, but it's like you're so behind. It's like... Linda, when Linda was around, I mean, I, I think Linda's still around, but I don't know who goes to Linda.com, right? I think everybody has already switched to Udemy.com because it's just a better service, you know? And like I said, guys, on my description, there's a couple of courses that I have from Udemy that I believe are, are the best ones, period, you know? But yeah, like, as far as, like, Lynda.com, man, it's crazy. You know, Lynda.com is, is one of those websites where they have courses from 2001 and still promoting it. I went to the website and I saw a video on the front page. And it said 2002, October 2002. Are you serious? You're telling me... You, like, I don't care. Some people will say, oh, man, you know, it's programming. It's like, if, if it's a good course and it got the fundamentals, it's still going to be good 10, 20 years from now. It's like, nah, that's super outdated. You know what I mean? Like, I saw a PHP course on, like, PHP 3 or something like that. Like, we on PHP 7. There's so many new things that came out. Like... They're still using like arrays. Instead of using brackets, they're using um, instead of using square brackets, they're using array, the array method to create an array. I'm like, bro, you know how old that shit? Damn, man, you know how old that thing is? <laughs> Every time I say any type of curse, I can't even say the S word. I can't even say the F word. Nothing. I get freaking banned. But you know me, I don't edit none of my videos. I'm just trying to trying to learn how to cut it down and just keep it professional out here nowadays. But yeah, man, I can't believe Linda, you know, like 2002, October? Come on. You can't do a, your boy like that. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta give us the good stuff, man. We paying you $25, $30. Give us the good stuff, man. Keep us updated. Hire developers that are in the industry. Don't hire people that haven't been in the industry in like over 10 years. You know what I mean? Like, there's people that I see on, on plural site with courses that haven't touched, haven't, they haven't created a, a web application in over 10 years. And they here teaching about you know best practices and this and that and writing books and it's like you're writing a book but you've never like, I mean you've worked before but you haven't worked in like 10 15 years it's like what does your your advice mean it doesn't mean anything because it's like you're giving me advice from 20 years ago you know what I mean like that's how I feel that's how I feel about a lot of things I'm like man I like to keep myself updated I don't like to, to see things that, you know, it's just outdated. You know, every six months, something new comes out in, in web development, programming in general. You know, technology keeps on going up. You know, as soon as it's going to be like every two months. So it's like, you got to keep up. You know, so if you leave it to this third-party services, 
they're not gonna give you the, the latest things. They're gonna give you something that's outdated, something that they consider safe, something that they could be like, oh yeah, Angular One. Uh, yeah, that's a safe. That's a safe framework to teach people, even though it's like four or five years old already, and basically all the new companies that are going to give you a job are not using it but hey you could start with angular one and then from there on your own time you learn react and then on your own time you learn angular four it's like no bro like i came here for a reason teach me the good stuff don't tell me oh i'm gonna teach you the basics charge you twenty thousand dollars and then it's like hey on your own time learn the best things that's are that's out there nah man I'm paying you twenty thousand dollars already. You should be teaching me the latest things, you know. So that's like one of the things that I, I had a problem with. Like after seeing that whole uh, thing from Engineer Truth, where he went to Dev Bootcamp, and I was like, man, that's kind of ridiculous. Like it's like 2016, 2017, and they teaching him Angular One. You know how crazy that sounds. I was like, I don't know, man. These companies, they be so outdated, man. And it's it's because they don't want to update their, their curriculums. It's just like colleges, you know, universities, man. They, I remember when I was going to school, they were, like, teaching C++ in computer science. I'm like, okay, this is cool, but I know there's barely any jobs out there for C++. You know, it's not a, like one of those skills that every corner that you, you turn, it's like, oh, yeah, we're looking for C++ developers. So why are you teaching it to me? You know what I mean? That's how I feel. Teach me the things that are, uh, are going to give me a job right away. You know, prepare me for the world. Don't, don't leave me out here, you know, without no knowledge. And I'm, I'm going in, in depth. It's like I'm starting my life in negative. You know, it's like I, I'm already starting negative, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars down. You know, like even for myself, guys. Like even right now, if I was to get myself into fifteen thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars debt, it's gonna take a, a couple of months for me to pay that off. You know, so it's like, you know, I could imagine somebody who who's like starting with nothing no money in their pocket uh you know and then just be like hey i'm just gonna go to a boot camp and get myself in debt and i'm gonna come out fifteen thousand dollars down like man it's a lot of money that's definitely a, a lot of money you can't just be out here like that you know especially somebody comes in with you know i see this all the time people come in with like this you know this hunger of of learning and, and achieving new things and they're like man they just want to you know they want to get into the industry they want to be able to create cool stuff they have cool ideas that they want to create but it's like the boot camps and all these other services don't prepare you you know the worst thing is when you sign up for something and then you got to sign up for multiple other things like, if I sign up for Team Treehouse, I shouldn't have to go to Free Code Camp. I shouldn't have to go to uh, Udemy. I shouldn't have to go to uh, Code Academy. Like, I'm already paying you to teach me these things. And it's like, people are expecting you to learn something, learn the basics in their services, and then jump, jump around and say, oh, yeah, don't worry. You wanted to learn? how classes work in ES6? Ah, oh, nah, you can't learn that here. We're still in JavaScript 5. You know, I was like, go learn ES6 on Udemy. And then, oh no, you wanted to learn uh, a little bit of backend? Oh no, you can't learn that here. You gotta go to codeschool.com. You wanna learn a little bit of Photoshop? Oh, you gotta go back to Udemy. Like, you know, we don't have that here. Like, what? You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I guess, I guess I'm a different type of person, man. I think that if I, I'm paying for a service and 
the service is supposed to be teaching me the latest things, things that is going to guarantee me to get a job. Don't teach me things that are safe for you to teach. Teach me the things that I need. All right. I'll see you guys later. Guys, make sure you go check out my website, codingface.com. Um, go register, man. I have a whole bunch of free courses there, and I have some paid courses. But the good thing about it is, like I would say, I break it down. The things that you thought that was hard, I break it down pretty simple. All right? I'll see you guys later. Bye. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. By the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret. It's nothing crazy. It's no secret gift that I had. It's just pretty much I took the courses. They're pretty cheap. They're like $15 each on specials. And just listen, man. Change your life. Change your lifestyle. Do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bye.